A typical real-time operating system is comprised of individual threads or contexts, which are managed by a scheduler and have a dedicated system timer, context timer, and memory protection. In the FIDO 1100, these features of the Autos kernel have been implemented in silicon. In a typical microcontroller, a software RTOS kernel is loaded into a single hardware context. A high-level task and network management system would then be loaded on top of that software RTOS kernel. Finally, individual real-time tasks, safety-critical code, and user applications would then be placed on top of the high-level management system or operating system. With FIDO's RTOS kernel implemented in silicon, individual hardware contexts are free to process critical real-time applications independent of one another. FIDO's RTOS kernel in a chip provides deterministic performance using a preemptive scheduler implemented in silicon, allowing unified priority control across interrupts and single-cycle context switching. True fail-safe operation is achieved by the time and space partitioning via FIDO's on-chip memory protection, context timers, and FIDO's unique ability to recover from context crashes. Now let's see how FIDO's RTOS kernel on a chip provides deterministic performance using the on-chip scheduler and unified priority control. Let's take a look at a typical microcontroller that is processing a DMA transfer. Now let's see what happens when a high priority interrupt occurs. The current task is stopped, but the DMA continues consuming CPU cycles. Then the real-time operating system executes its scheduler. The RTOS saves the current context. It then loads the new context. Execution of the new task begins. And finally, the new task then stops the DMA transfer. Now let's take a look at how the FIDO 1100 manages the same scenario. First, let's assume that a DMA transfer is taking place. Then, a high priority interrupt occurs. The priority of the new interrupt is higher than the DMA, and on-chip scheduler switches to context 1, execution begins, and the DMA is stopped in a single clock cycle. 